G'day guys. Here we are at uh, Orford Adventure headquarters for another episode of Ask Jace. So everyone's been sending in their questions. Definitely uh, heaps and heaps and heaps of questions. Great, that's awesome. Keep up the good work, all you fans out there. All right guys, let's start with Kyle. So Kyle H, uh, g'day Kyle. How you going mate? Uh, Kyle says, g'day guys, just wondering what was the idea behind the pole fixed in the tinny that you guys hold onto uh, when cruising around? Uh, what was the main reason for it and how is it mounted? Okay, Kyle, good question mate, good question. Okay, so I came up with the concept because when you're in a tinny in rough condition, so remember they are a rooftop tinny, they're 3.7, um, Vino's uh, CJ, Nomad, they call them. Now, they can, handle, they can handle the rough stuff, but when it starts to get really choppy, the best way to ride in these tinnies is to stand up, okay, and use your knees, right? So what I did is I thought, right, well, if I get a tiller extension, and what we used to do is we used to hold on to a rope, all right? Now, that used to get a bit tired in your hand, especially after doing some serious kilometers. So I thought, oh, if you could hold on to a pole, it, it, it's not as tiring on your hand. So that's where I come up with the concept of putting a pole into the floor, okay? So obviously it's got a receiver, an aluminium receiver, the pole fits into, and that is welded into the floor frame. There's also one up the front. The one up the front is for the cameraman, okay? So we put that in there because when the cameraman, he needs to stand up the front. Now, if that tinny rocks and he's got this camera here, okay, we don't want the camera in the drink with the cameraman. Okay, not to mention the crocodiles, but also the $20,000 camera. Okay, so we don't want to fall, get him to fall in the water. He leans up against that pole, so he gives himself a bit of support like that. And again, it's got a receiver in the floor, and the poles, well, they just get stored in that, um, that box, which is recessed into the floor as well. So that's the setup that we use. If you want that same setup, then give the boys uh, a call at CJ, and I'm pretty sure they'll be able to hook you up. All righty. Ricky, Ricky S. G'day Ricky, if you're watching, um, uh, I've got a question. We've got a Ricky, uh, question here from Ricky S. Hi guys, just wondering who built your little aluminium trailer with buggy wheels? Alrighty, so you would have seen um, us use that little aluminium trailer in Unleashed, especially season three, we used it a heap. But you also would have seen it in um, All For Adventure uh, when we were in Arnhem Land for tackling the territory. So, Ricky S. Yes. Um, that, little, that little trailer, well, I built that trailer. I built it here in the workshop at All for Adventure headquarters. Now, I got the concept from um, the folding trailers. LMAC is from the boatloader that we use. They make a folding trailer, and that was one of the first ones we used uh, in season three. Now, the only problem that I found with those is the fact that you know, they're good for short distances, um, but they take, they take a bit of time to sort of fold together. It became a bit painful. And I thought, well, maybe I could make a fixed trailer that's nice and light. One, it's got big wheels, because that was the other thing, the folding trailers, they only had these little dinky wheels. So I wanted these quad bike tires that I could drop the air out, it would float over the, um, you know, over the sand on the beach and stuff like that. It was quite light. It wasn't wide, so it wasn't hanging out the side of the tinny picking up the trees. And put a little winch on the front and it, was, it just worked perfectly. Now, I strengthened it up and it has worked an absolute treat, treat from day forward. So um, that's where the concept come from, come from the folding trailer. It's now in the permanently fixed trailer. It is a bit of a bugger to, you know, to sort of carry around. I put it up on top of my boat that sits up on top of the, you know, on top of the truck, and um, it's it's up there. There's some height there, but hey, do whatever you got to do to get that gear up north. All righty, um, next question, Steve. All right, Steve, how you going, Steve? If you're watching, I'm not, and it, this is Steve's question. I'm not an experienced camper, so I'd like to know what do you make life easier off the grid to keep things clean. Okay. <laughs> okay, Steve, um, that sort of gives me a bit of a broad question there. Um, so we're off grid and we keep things clean. Okay, cleaning the truck. So if we want to keep the truck clean, let's say the truck clean, all right? 
Uh, they do get horribly dirty, mud and crap everywhere. Every time you hop in and out of the vehicle, you're dragging that crap around, not to mention that red dust that gets on everything. Um, a good trick is to not to wear your Sunday best, that's for sure. But look, you can give the, give the truck a bit of a wash in the creek. Go through the creek crossing, give it a bit of a wash, get a rag out. That's a good little trick. Um, another thing is um, make sure you've got good seals on your canopy. So make sure you get a good quality canopy, okay? Um, so that the seals do stop the dust from going in. Um, another one is if you're towing camper trails and stuff like that, um, try and block off all the vents or any, if there's any vents or things like that, depending on what sort of camper trail you got or caravan. Um, but realistically, um, hey, um, I find uh, wearing thongs is an easy way to keep your feet clean. Okay, I know they get dirty, but you can wash them easily because boots in mud just don't work. You know, so you know, wearing some thongs even. So, and then of course rubbish. Maybe rubbish is part of keeping things clean. I don't know, but um, take heaps of rubbish bags, okay, so that you can put your bag, all your rubbish into bags, tie it up, use the heavy duty ones, and then stash your rubbish in little compartments and places like that um, on your trailers, all right? You don't want to leave the rubbish behind. That is a definite 100% no. We don't have to leave anything. We don't leave anything in the bush that you basically can't be burnt, okay? If it's paper, you can burn it in the fire, but bottles and glass and tins and all that, take it with you, take it back to the city or back to the town and dump it in the rubbish bin, please. Okay, Steve, hope that answers your question. All right, we got time for one more question today. Peter H. Peter, how you going, buddy, if you're watching? Hi, guys. I was wondering if a GVM upgrade was done on the D-Max. Uh, enjoy the show. Thanks heaps. Oh, awesome, Pete. No worries, mate. I'm glad you'd like the show. Um, GVM upgrade on the D-Max. Nope. Haven't done a GVM upgrade on the D-Max. Basically put... Um, uh, some heavy springs in the back, so EFS have, um, uh, you know, EFS have tuned the suspension, like I said, and I've said this in the past, uh, two-inch lift kit, and they've tuned the suspension to suit the loads that I carry, or, or Simon carries. Uh, there's the D-Max behind me. Um, again, tune it to the loads that you carry. Uh, ask the experts, experts, ask uh, the ear guys at EFS, uh, but no, it's not a GVM upgrade. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether they do a GVM upgrade for the D-Max. They may or they may not, but ask those guys. They will be able to help you out. So hopefully that answers your question, Peter, um, with the uh, D-Max and the suspension. Whatever you do, don't try and go up north on a big trip, serious trip, without a, you know, replacing the suspension because you're gonna have a, if you're towing something and carrying lots of loads, you don't want any problems. And, and generally, you know, you want that truck to be able to carry those loads. And that's why we put aftermarket suspension on the trucks. Okay, hopefully that helps, Peter. Um, that's all we've got time for, for another episode of Just, or oh, Ask Jace. <laughs> that's me. Uh, you guys are the fans and you guys are asking the questions. Keep them coming in, loving it. See you later. <laughs>